Yo, what's going on guys? Uh this is Stealthy and this is an Xbox One gameplay. So uh it probably looks ten times better on your screen and everything and all of that. Um because the new Xbox One graphics are a lot better and all that. But um my first opinions on the Xbox One is that's sick. I, I like the voice commands. Like um the connect, I thought it was gonna be really bad at first. Um because I never liked the, com the connect on the other console, or on the 360, so I thought I would just never ever use it on um, the Xbox One. And by the way, this is a 38 gun streak, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you guys can count it correctly, if I'm wrong, I didn't really... I'm pretty sure it's a 38, I just looked at my weekly. But I'm pretty sure I also got another 38 gun streak that week, or a 32 or something. So if you guys really want to check, you can... But I'm just going to go with 38 Gun Streak. If you guys can tell me what it actually is, if it is actually something else, I'll just change the title. But, um, anyways, uh, I just like everything about the Xbox One. The graphics are 10 times better. Um, the voice command thing is amazing. I just don't even use, I barely use the controller for the menus. I just tell my Xbox what to do. And, um, what else? I've been playing a lot of Battlefield on this thing. Um, it's f Battlefield is a super fun game, and especially on the Xbox One, the nicer graphics, like everything, just like renders in better. All the explosions and shit is just ten times nicer, and everything just looks twenty million times better. Um, and I know PS4 fanboys are gonna be like, "Oh, well, PS4 has 1080p." I honestly cannot see one difference. I really can't. I've watched a bunch of PS4 gameplay, and I, I don't see any difference at all. But, um, yeah, that's, like, that's controversial, whatever, though. Um, but I also plan on getting some more games. So far, I only have Call of Duty Ghosts and uh, Battlefield for the Xbox One, because um, those are two games I wanted to pick up at first, but, um... I can down. I'm I'm planning on getting Assassin's Creed Black Flag, or uh, Dead Rising Three. I don't know which one I should get. If any of you guys do have the Xbox One and have both of those games or either of them, uh, you guys can tell me which one you like or you know whatever. But um, I plan on getting Assassin's Creed just because I played every Assassin's Creed game, and I really like Assassin's Creed. I haven't really played too many Dead Rising games. Uh, I know Dead Rising 3 is supposed to be sick. It's supposed to be kind of like GTA. You can drive around in cars and run the shit, like, beat the shit out of zombies and everything. But I think, um, I think, I don't know. I just like the whole aspect of Assassin's Creed, how you can run across rooftops and just, it's basically, like, it's just, it's kind of like free roam, but you do a ton of missions and the story is actually good. Unlike, well, I like GTA, but the story is, I don't really pay a attention to the story all that much, I just kind of shoot people, which Assassin's Creed does kind of remind me of GTA and the way it plays, just the story and like the whole concept is 10 times different because it's back in like the 1700s with like pirate ships and shit like that, um, if you guys have ever played Assassin's Creed game, you know they're, they're insane, like you can just jump from rooftop, every, everything you see you can basically like, you can, it's just a really insane, fun game, and I've always liked to play it, so I'll probably end up getting that. Um, the menu on the Xbox One is really, really sick. Like, uh, everything just is perfect about it. And I know Xbox One fanboys, or not Xbox, um, PS4 fanboys are going to be like, well, your console was made for entertainment and all that, and our console was made for gaming. Isn't gaming basically entertainment, um... Pretty sure it is, unless I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the Xbox, or the gaming is entertainment, and I I can do all of, I can, I have gaming built into the Xbox One, and I have TV shit, and all kinds of Skype apps, and I can be on Skype, and I can watch Twitch, and play Call of Duty Ghost on the same screen, and shit like that, it's just insane. And PS4 fanboys are like, well, you guys only have entertainment console. Well, we have entertainment and gaming. You guys only have gaming on your console, pretty much. So, yeah. That's the way I look at it. Like, P all the PS4 people are like, 
Well, your console's made for entertainment. We have both. You only have one. But peace out, guys. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and comment. And peace.